Hey everyone, this video is going to be about hidden costs that investors run into when buying a home using creative finance. And it's one of the things that we have to understand and be cautious of just because it can change the transaction dramatically or not a lot based upon what's going on. So one of the things I've discovered, of course, is, is the biggest issue that can affect us is simply undisclosed liens on the property. Yeah, that really does happen. Sellers forget what they have or they just don't care. They just want to sell the house and get out of the deal. And so what happens so often is, is we go and negotiate a transaction to buy a property from a seller. Maybe they've told us what their first lien mortgages on the property, so we have a, a basic knowledge of all that. But they stop short and they miss things such as maybe a partial claim deed of trust. That's a HUD lien from a loan modification. So why would they miss that? Because they have zero payments uh, and, and zero interest on these loans. So it's out of sight, out of mind. The same thing happens with a down payment assistance loan. Uh, these have been changing over time from being forgivable after one year, five years, or 10 years to being running with the life of the, the property now, as long as you own it. Uh, and then of course it's doing payable at that time. But again, because it has no payments associated with it, um, they forget to disclose that to you. So you go wind up going back, getting a copy of your title commitment or your abstract on the property, whatever it might be, and lo and behold, these things pop up and now everything is thrown out of whack. Oftentimes, you'll pull in the neighborhoods and you, you don't know that there's an HOA. Maybe it's not a gated community, but there is an HOA and they fail to tell you about that. They don't tell you about the HOA liens that they have or unpaid dues that you've got to check on. That's, of course, why you always want to get a resale cert from the HOA if one is out there so you know what the obligations are. And then, of course, you can negotiate that with the seller, but normally we as the investor wind up paying all of these items along the way. One of the last things that you can run into out there could be a municipal lien. Maybe they haven't been maintaining the property very well. It got mowed by somebody. Maybe the HOA had to go out and mow their yard or take care of issues. And they just don't know that these things get charged to the property recorded of record that will have to be paid when you buy the property now or at some time in the future because they just don't go away. And I guess the, the last thing I can think of out there on undisclosed liens offhand would be taxes and, and property tax liens. And these things happen, you know, often. Um, one of the things I've seen common just recently, uh, just with so many investors chasing newer homes, and these are homes that people bought in the last 12, 24, 36 months. Maybe they're in new subdivisions that were just recently built. But what happens so often is, is the, the county is assessing the property at land value. And then this nice $300,000 home gets built, but they don't change the taxable rate. So you're still paying uh, property taxes on the land. Well, the problem is, is the county is going to bring uh, all those taxes current going forward and what happens is, is that the mortgage company forgets to adjust the escrow. Now, I've seen it recently where there's up to $12,000 in unpaid taxes for the past two years. And of course, the mortgage company is not requiring that be paid all at once. They are allowing the borrower to pay that out over time, which is reasonable, of course. But they're still due an owing. Now, that may or may not show up on a mortgage statement anywhere. So you've got to check and know what's out there. Uh, another thing regarding taxes I've seen is, of course, when you have a direct seller finance transaction. And this is where the seller doesn't have a mortgage on the property. And so in those ca cases, I always suggest getting a tax cert on the property or being well-versed in how to research your county's tax assessor's website to know exactly what could be outstanding. Because again, the sellers may tell you one thing and of course you find something else. And yeah, that happens all the time out there along the way. You know, another thing that I run into that can affect us as investors when buying these properties is the undisclosed 
loan modification. Now you would think that these mortgage companies would always record their loan mods, but I've seen many transactions where they don't. And sometimes you have to rely upon the, the, the seller to inform you of that. So you at least know what the terms are. Of course, one way to evidence that is when you do find maybe this partial claim deed of trust filed of record, you want to look for the loan modification agreement. What was changed? Because you might be getting an old mortgage statement from the seller, but the new terms of this loan mod are totally different. And you need to understand and get a copy of those things to make sure you know exactly what it is uh, you're dealing with along the way. You know, I think I mentioned earlier undisclosed HOA issues, especially undisclosed HOA liens that can pop up. But there's also the undisclosed back payments for HOA that haven't been converted into a lien yet. Maybe they just haven't paid the HOA for the last six months, 12 months, and the HOA hasn't come around to filing a lien on the property yet. So you've got to take a moment and actually reach out to the HOA and get those resale certs I talked about so you wind up understanding exactly what the obligations are so that when you do buy this property, you know what to expect and how to make payments to bring these things current so you don't get slammed with additional attorney's fees or unnecessary interest on the transactions. And so lastly, let me just bring up an adjustable rate mortgage. One of the things I always suggest to investors to do on that first meeting with the seller is try your best to get a copy of the note and the deed of trust. You want to know what it is you're obligating yourself to make payments of. And most of the time, investors are accustomed to fixed rate loans. And I'll grant you, most loans out there today are fixed rate loans. But adjustable rate loans are still out in the marketplace and becoming more prevalent as well. And so you want to get a copy of that loan to know when will that loan adjust. And as rates have been going up, these, your mortgages have been adjusting as well, which adjust your payments along the way. So always ensure you try to get a copy of that note and or deed of trust. If they don't have it, can't find it, they can go online to their mortgage company in most cases and get a copy of it. Or at least ask the question and see if there's any evidence of that that might be existing. These are all things that will wind up protecting you along the way uh, that will help avoid these hidden costs that do pop up on so many of the transactions that we investors buy. So guys, take a moment as you watch this and like the video. If you have any comments, take a moment and comment below. If you have suggestions for other videos, provide those to us. We look forward to doing them for you. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. In addition, if you want to learn more about owner financing to enhance your business even further, visit us over at theownerfinancenetwork.com. You're going to find tons of free videos and things of that nature out there for you. Courses you can subscribe to as well. We look forward to helping you out.